Hi, my name is Sandra from Diary. Today I'd like to show you how to put all the necessary information inside of Diary of your branch that Diary has all the information about you. As soon as you received your login data, you can start to set up your Diary. The most important parts for you in the beginning are resources and management. Let's start today with management and here with the part branch. Here you have to put in the beginning all the general information about you and your dive center inside. The name of the dive center, the main language which have been spoken, the surcharge if you have, the percentage. The, and here you just change the number, click here and save it like this. So, and it's all also about the other points. You write it, you click on here and like this you save it. Put your address inside via drag and drop. You can put your logo here inside, which appears then also on the invoices from your guests. And also here, save it. You can have also here a preview. Then the hotels, what you are surfing or what you are working with, just type in the name. For example, um, <laughs> example. And just press enter and like this it's already saved. Also here, which kind of certifications are you accepting? Open water diver, dive master, advanced open water, scuba diver, instructor, and let's say a basic diver. And also here, just type it in, press enter and it's already saved. Then from your rental gear, just um, type in here all the sizes of the rental gear you are offering from the BCDs, the wetsuits, the fins and also the boots and type in here all the language which are which are available in your dive center. If you like to use diary on different devices you will need uh, a token. The program will ask you for this. Here you'll find the token. You can generate also a new one and with copy paste you can um, create a new one uh, for the devices. If you are using MailChimp and want to send newsletters to your guest, you just type in all the necessary information for MailChimp and then you can send directly also newsletters to your guests. If you are in SSI Dive Center, just type in here your login data and then SSI and Diary are connected from the database. So if you have a new guest and he's using the self check-in or you are using here the main first data, like his name and his birthday, Diary will get all the information like the address and so on from the guests from SSI. The participant list is the list from the calendar function if you are having a dive trip outside. There you can choose which kind of information you'd like to have on the list and which kind of rental gear should be shown. And here you can say also how and when the rental gear um, should be charged. If it should be for each service. So each single time the guest is diving for every diving day, so it could be more than one. Or if you have also, some dive centers have a maximum price for the rental equipment for their guests and also this is possible. So again, save it. So once we have to refresh now the site because I'm going to show you now also the currency part. Here you can choose the currencies which are available in your dive center. Let's have a look, for example, for US dollars in this dive center, which we created before. The US dollars are available as a payment and this currency is also available for the credit card. Let's take one which is not yet available, for example, the British pound, just click on it, say this currency is available in this branch and save it. Now we have this currency as well for this dive center inside. You can see it is available. 
So these are the first very important necessary information what diary needs from your branch. Then about the company part. A lot of dive centers are offering different kinds of loyalty programs for their guests. This can be all put inside here that it appears directly also at the invoice from the guest. If there is a name for a loyalty program, you can add it here. Also here again, just click it and save it. Then if maybe you have a level program or a point program or they can earn points. So they are different kind of programs or a discounted part. And then you have here also the products. So also here with the discount part, don't forget to save it. And as soon as we load up the video for customers, you can see also where you can click that the guests are earning really these points or getting the discount. So now for the product attributes, this might be really interesting for your shop and also later on for your inventory. If you say already that you have t-shirts in yellow, black, white, whatever, and in a different kind of sizes, this would make it easier later on that you really can choose um, the products what you are selling. Yeah, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. More videos will follow up you. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Or you can have a look also on our social media channels like Facebook and Instagram. I hope you enjoyed it and see you soon.